How's everyone doing? Today I have an awesome Blu-ray DVD update toy t-shirt update. Uh, first off, I'll go ahead and show you that I got 14 Blu-rays and DVDs right here in the mail. Thumbnail face. <laughs> All right, and as always, if you've seen these movies, definitely let me know what you think of them as well. But I also got some other cool goodies. Uh, I'll go ahead and show you the t-shirt I got from Ripped Apparel, which if you don't know Ripped Apparel, they do uh, three different t-shirt designs every day, and you only have 24 hours to get them. Although recently they've had a thing where you have a few extra hours, like like 12 extra hours, and you can get those shirts uh, for like a little bit more money uh, from that they had the day before. But I saw this shirt and I had to get it, souped for it. And it's a play on Mad Max and Mad Men, and it says Mad Man. I absolutely love this one. Love the TV show Mad Men, and of course love the Mad Max trilogy and uh, the new one, Too Fury Road. So there you go. If you can see that. Hopefully that is in frame good enough. But I love the heck out of this shirt, so had to get it. Right there. And I also got some cool toys <laughs> uh, from Diamond Select Toys, which... I love the heck out of them. I've shown some stuff I got from them before. I got this really cool bottle opener, Galactus bottle opener right here with magnets on the back. I actually have it right here on my wall because there's the metal beam right there. So it just hooks right on there. But this is just super cool. Love the heck out of them. They have some really cool uh, bottle openers on there. I might start a bottle opener uh, collection now because they just have so many neat ones that I want to get. But this is just awesome. So I got that. I still have that right here. So every time I have a beer, I can just open it up. And I love that it has the magnets because not only does it stick on the fridge or anywhere metal, uh, when you open up the bottle cap, the bottle cap sticks to the magnets instead of flying off. I love that. So I got this awesome Slimer bank right here. Um, <laughs> I don't know. I just thought this was really neat looking. I have another bank from them already, a vinyl uh, alien bust bank. So I just thought that was neat. I was like, I want to get some more. And I just love the detailing on their, uh, uh, their banks right here. I'm not using them as a bank, I'm just using them as like a display piece or display figure just because I think they're really neat designs. Um, and again, even the hands, you can see Slimer's hands right there, all the detailing on that, the wrinkles and the nails, just everything like that is just awesome to me. And then you can see his face right there. They're doing some more uh, Slimer uh, pieces coming up soon too. They have a Slimer uh, pizza cutter, which I totally want to get. And then I want to get some more, uh, I, they have a bunch of Predator stuff coming out as well. Predator bottle opener, Predator bust, I want to get those as well. Uh, there's the slot right there on the back for the bank. Uh, the Alien bust didn't have the slot like that on the back. Um, but I think they just had a thing on the bottom, which I'm going to keep the sticker on there. You can undo it on the bottom, get the change out that way. But again, I'm going to have them facing forward. But I just, I just thought that was really neat looking. So, Diamond Select Toys, you can check them out. And there we go, there's a little sticker again, you know, Ghostbusters, so it's authentic licensed. And even the lips, it's like little detailing that I, I dig. But I just love the look of this thing. <laughs> Who you gonna call? Ghostbusters! I love the old cartoon back in the day, too. Uh, I have mixed feelings on the whole uh, Ghostbusters, the new movie coming out with the, the female leads. I'm not a big fan of a lot of those actresses, and I don't know, I just... Uh, I don't know. We'll see how it goes, though. But there we go. And then I got something else from Diamond Select Toys, which I'll I'll probably be doing another separate video for this one. Um, I'm just going to show you right here. This is Grandpa Munster right here from the Munsters. I remember watching this all the time as a kid. I remember watching this way more than The Addams Family. I guess maybe it was a different time, but this was on all the time when I was younger growing up, reruns and stuff like that. So this one has a special place in my heart, this TV show. And this one comes with a cool, uh, it's like a full chemistry set in here as well. He's got a table, he's got all kinds of different books and spells and all kinds of goodies in here. And he's got a little bat right there. And so this looks like a really cool figure. I'm gonna do a whole unboxing for this one. I almost don't wanna take it out of the packaging just because the packaging is so neat. You can see like his face right there. And even on the side, look at that side right there for the packaging with him on there. I just think it's really cool. I, I think the packaging is awesome. I was never one of those kids that like kept stuff in the packaging. But now you see that a lot, uh, people getting the action figure stuff, the collectors, they keep them in the packaging because the packaging is part of the appeal now. And I can see that, especially with this figure. And there's some uh, different other ones right there. But I really wanted to get a um, Gilbert, but they didn't have a uh, Gilbert on there. I think that was uh, sold out. So I have to find that somewhere. But there you go. And I just, I just think it's really neat looking. Uh, I guess I'm going to uh, do an unboxing for it though to show it in full on all of its glory because it has so many cool special features. There's this cape behind there as well. And there you can see with all the different things on there, all the props, you know, so. 
but I'm loving this. Diamond Select Toys has just so much cool stuff, so I'm souped. I'm addicted now. <laughs> All right, but let's go ahead and check out. Yeah, let me know if you watched the Munsters as well or the Adams Family. Which one did you prefer, and which was your char favorite character from the Munsters as well? So, but uh, yeah, let's get on to the movies now. Uh, a bunch of these ones I haven't seen, and then the ones that I have seen, I think it's been a long time. Um, Lucy, I haven't seen. Scarlett Johansson right here, Morgan Freeman. Uh, you got me sold on those two alone. Uh, Scarlett Johansson, stunning. Oh, muy picante. And uh, it's a Luke Besson film who, of course, did uh, Fifth Element, uh, La Femme Nikita, and um, The Professional. I love The Professional. You know, uh, oh my gosh, I can't believe uh, her, that young actress now, Natalie Portman. You know, she was a little kid then, and who, who knew she was going to be such a great actress? Uh, that was the first thing I remember her being in. Um, but yeah, great. That... Those are like some, some of my favorite movies. The Professional is one of my all-time favorite movies. Uh, La Femme Nikita is fantastic. Fifth Element is another one that I love. And uh, this one right here, when I first saw the trailers for it, it reminded me of Fifth Element a little bit and also of um, Limitless. It's kind of like a mixture of that. Apparently, she takes like this drug and it lets her use 100% of her brain capacity. So she becomes this uh, crazy uh, mercenary warrior uh, they can use all of her brain. She does all these cool things that you know you can never thought you could do because you only use a small percentage of your actual brain capacity. So, looking forward to checking this one. It looks like it's going to be a lot of action in here as well. And Scarlett Johansson's hot, so why not? <laughs> and this is a Target exclusive steelbook right here. I uh, love the glossy look right there. I know there's a bunch of different steelbooks for this one right here. And then here is the back right there. I know there's another one where it has like the face on both. So when you open it up, it shows the face completely like that. I think it's like a, maybe a UK one. Uh, it's a Blu-ray DVD. And I have the digital copy over here. I might do an unboxing for this one. I'm not sure, like, you know, just going more in detail of it. And there is the interior artwork as well. Kind of reminds me, like, a little bit of Matrix right there. So, looking forward to checking this one out. Again, uh, the trailers had me excited for it. Let me know if you've seen this one, or again, any of these ones. But I'm especially looking forward to this one. I heard some mixed reviews for it, so we will see. Uh, next up is another one, which was a blind buy, which I also got from Target. Uh, Target has a lot of steelbooks coming out. I can't wait. They have the Mondo steelbooks coming out. Oh, you know I'm going to get the Thing one, but I love the Flash Gordon one. The artwork looks fantastic. And I hated the Flash Gordon steelbook they released already over in the UK, where it's basically all black, no artwork. Terrible. I have the old DVD steelbook still, because uh, that had great artwork. Uh, but go ahead and show you the, the next pickup right here, which is Citadel, which I believe is an Irish horror movie. And uh, I've heard some good things about it. And basically, this guy, and is, he's married, he has a daughter, and he uh, these young thug kids uh, basically attack them. And I guess the mother dies, and he becomes agoraphobic, and then uh, uh, a young thug gang starts terrorizing him again he has to battle against that and there's like a, a priest and apparently the the gang has like supernatural power so that's about as much as I know about this one right here but uh I don't know it looks pretty it kind of the cover reminds me of the raid a little bit right there with the building but uh, I'm looking forward to checking it out I have heard a few good things about it but not a ton but I, it was a good price it was like five bucks so I figured why the heck not and next up is one from Lionsgate right here which is the forger uh, this is with uh, John Travolta, Christopher Plummer, and Ty Sheridan. Ty Sheridan, great young actor, uh, and he's in Mud, of course, and uh, Joe as well. And definitely looking forward to see what he does in the future. Um, this is basically a heist art forgery movie. It's like a family one. John Travolta involves his father, played by Christopher Plummer, and then his son, played by Ty Sheridan. And they all do this, you know, one last heist art forgery deal. Um, so that's about all I know about this one, but I'm looking forward to checking it out. Good cast. Next up is Thrashing. I can't believe this got a Blu-ray release. Olive Films, great. I can't, you're, you're releasing so many great films I never thought would get uh, a Blu-ray release like this. Now, I need to see Rad get a Blu-ray release. I need to see Gleaming the Cube with uh, Christian Slater. I need to see a whole bunch more movies. Summer School is one I really want to see you guys release. You did Ski School already with two of the same actors from Summer School. Uh, but Thrashing right here with James Brolin also has Robert Rustler. Uh, I remember this being kind of like a West Side Story skateboard movie. I watched this when I was a kid. Can't wait to check it out again. Um, it had a lot of uh, different actual skaters in here. Real skaters do some of the stunts and stuff. And there's some other recognizable faces in here. But I remember this being a really uh, entertaining skateboard movie. So I can't wait to watch this one on Blu-ray. Really excited for this one. And young James Brolin. Look at him right there. <laughs> awesome. Olive, you're killing it. And this is another one I never would have thought I got a Blu-ray release. Uh, this is funny to me. Anthony Michael Hall plays this uh, star quarterback. You know, three years 
after he does he plays the nerd in Breakfast Club and all these nerdy different movies. And a couple years before that, he did Sixteen Candles and all these ones where he plays this nerd. Now he's this jock. And young Robert Downey Jr. in here and Uma Thurman as well. And a few other recognizable people in this one too. I remember uh, I'm trying to see if that shows in the back. Now it doesn't really mention too many other people. There's other people in here that I remember. I remember watching this movie when I was younger and enjoying it. And he goes to all these different campuses and he's. Um, you know, trying to decide which school he's going to go to, and he gets involved in all these controversies. And uh, I, uh, what was her name? Uh, Tilly, I think, was in here too. Jennifer Tilly, I believe. Uh, come on, I'm trying to find on here. Yeah, Jennifer Tilly was in here. All right, cool. Uh, there's a few other recognizable people though. Um, yeah, and Howard Corsell and Jim McMahon, too. So, can't wait to check this one out again. I remember really liking this one a lot. Another one I remember watching when I was younger, uh, another football-related movie is Brian Bosworth and Stone Cold. I mean, Johnny B. Good. Come on. This is, to me, this was, I remember this being cheesy, but really entertaining. And it was such a departure from Anthony Michael Hall's roles before that. So, very cool. Uh, but Stone Cold right here. This was uh, just, you know, Brian Bosworth when he was in the height of his career. Action movies, football. You know, he was just a boss back in the day. He was badass. And he was kicking butt. I remember he was uh, going undercover, this white supremacist biker gang to take them down. Uh, the game was called The Brotherhood. And he's just whooping ass in this one. It's everything you could want from a Brian Bosworth movie. It's him just kicking butt. <laughs> uh, next up is The Thing uh, with Two Heads. I remember watching this when I was younger, too. I never would have thought these movies would get a Blu-ray release. I'm just souped on that. All the films. Thank you so much. <laughs> uh, keep doing your thing. Uh, this was a crazy, ridiculous movie. Really cheesy, but entertaining too. It's kind of like a horror comedy movie. Uh, this guy's like a white. Uh, this guy right here, the, uh, the he was uh, Ray Milland. Uh, he was in Dial M for Murder. He's a uh, brain surgeon, but he's like super racist, and he's getting ready to die, and he wants to uh, transplant his head onto somebody else's body. <laughs> Uh, and so the person that they do that to is uh, this guy right here, uh, Rosie Greer, who's a football player as well. Lots of football ties in right here with uh, you know, Brian Bosworth and Stone Cold and uh, Johnny B. Good right here. And uh, yeah, so uh, he plays a convicted killer. Uh, he's in death row. So they put you know his white head on his body, and you know he's this racist, and it's just super cheesy and entertaining. And I can't wait to revisit this one. <laughs> uh, I'm excited. I'm souped. Next up is Soul Plane. Now, I heard everybody, like, I posted this on Instagram and Facebook. People were just like, this is the worst movie ever. How could you get this? I only saw a couple scenes of this movie, and I remember the scenes that I saw, I thought were pretty entertaining. You know, they're for what it was. But, again, I never saw the full movie. I only saw, like, like a couple clips. It has Kevin Hart before he really got huge. Kevin Hart's in everything lately. Uh, it has uh, Tom Arnold in here, which I'm a big fan of Tom Arnold. He's like, is he the only white guy in here? No, <laughs> I don't know. Uh, is that Carmen Electra on there? Who's No, that's Sofia Vergara. Holy moly. My mistake there. But a little bit from that, you know, that shot right there. This is before she got big, too. Uh, Snoop Dogg, Method Man, Monique, D.L. Hughley. Big fan of D.L. Hughley. Uh, he was in the original Kings of Comedy. Fantastic comedian. Very talented. Uh, it has Rizza in here as well. Just a whole bunch of different people in here. And basically, I believe Kevin Hart starts up his own uh, airplane uh, company. And it's geared more towards uh, uh, the African-American community and hip-hop artists. So, uh, there you go. It looks like it's going to be lots of hijinks. Uh, Snoop Dogg is the pilot, so there you go. I actually just watched the Justin Bieber roast uh, recently, which was hilarious. Uh, that was fantastic. Uh, Snoop Dogg and Kevin Hart were both on there. That was, you know, <laughs> that was, if you haven't seen it, you know, don't just put it off because it's Justin Bieber roast. He's getting, you know, just killed on there. And it was so many great jokes, so many pushing the limit jokes as well but excellent kevin hart was the host there it was great um can't wait to check this one out, even though people were crapping around and say it was terrible next up was fled which i just saw recently on tv uh i missed the ending though so happy to be able to uh check this one out now uh it has uh lawrence fishburne stephen baldwin in the smoking hot selma hayek holy moly Moy Picante. Basically, it's a prison break movie, and, you know, they're kind of, like, turning on each other, going back and forth, and they're, you know, seeking uh, refuge with Selma Hayek right there. They take her hostage, kind of. And Stephen Baldwin's trying to find this uh, this disc uh, to take somebody down, and, you know, there's a lot of people involved and crazy stuff going on there. So, uh, looking forward to checking out the ending there. Next up is one I never heard before. It's called The Mean Season uh, with Kurt Russell. Uh, I believe Andy Garcia is in here as well. Let me see. Let me see. Does it say on here? Uh, yeah, Andy Garcia's in here, and then Mariel Hemingway. 
apparently he's a uh, writer uh, for uh, a Miami reporter. Sorry, he's a Miami reporter, and uh, he gets involved with a murder. He's writing this uh, story about it, and the murderer contacts him and is giving him details to continue the story. And uh, his own life gets involved heavily, so it looks like some good thrills in there. And I'm a big Kev uh, Kurt Russell uh, fan. I almost said Kevin Costner. <laughs> I kind of mixed that up. I also like Kevin Costner a lot. He's been in a bunch of movies recently, but Kurt Russell. And they're going to be remaking uh, Big Trouble Little China, I heard. I think The Rock is going to be playing his role, which is kind of crazy. I think it's the rumor I heard. Uh, mixed feelings there, big time, because I love Big Trouble Little China. Uh, next up is uh, also from uh, Lionsgate. All these other ones, the Blu-rays right here, the stack, we're all from all of films. This is from Lionsgate. It's uh, If There Be Horns. This is the third in the Flowers in the Attic uh, series right here. And it stars Heather Graham, but that is totally not Heather Graham. I don't know what her role is in this one. But yeah, that's all about I know about this one, so looking forward to checking that out. Flo Flowers in the Attic was super crazy. Next up is an awesome sounding movie. It's Time Lapse right here. And this is from Accelerator uh, Media. I really like that uh, that name, Accelerator, XL Raider. Uh, but I love the concept to this. It reminds me of like the Twilight Zone, uh, Twilight Zone concept right here. They find this uh, camera which can uh, has like time travel possibilities. They take uh, takes a picture and it shows you 24 hours into the future. And they keep taking the picture and they're trying to use it to their advantage. And then they start seeing you know crazy things in there. Uh, it affects their relationship to all the people that are involved right there. Uh, it looks like it's going to have some really th good thrills and some good sci-fi elements in here. You can see the wall right there with all the, the pictures. So really cool. Um, looking forward to checking this one out. I love the original Twilight Zone, so uh, it kind of reminds me of the concept there. Next up is Infected uh, from RLJ and Image Entertainment. Uh, this looks like a, just a straight up, you know, infected film. Uh, there's a, you know, turning them into, you know, blood hungry creatures. Uh, kind of like zombie-esque, but there's a big difference between uh, zombies, which are the dead, or the, you know, coming back to life, and infected people, which are people that are still alive, just, you know, going crazy and attacking people. 28 Days Later was infected. Uh, different genres, and then uh, Night of the Living Dead, zombies. Big difference, but this looks like it's going to have some good action in here, and hopefully it'll be decent. Uh, I dig the cover and the shots in the back. Looking forward to checking this one out. Next up is The Wrecking Crew from uh, Magnolia. And I might be doing a giveaway for this one coming up soon. I uh, might have a, another DVD for it. Uh, so this looks like it's it is also released on Blu-ray, I believe, as well. Uh, it's basically about an uh, unsung instrumentalist uh, back in the 60s and 70s that uh, worked on hit records with the Beach Boys, Frank Sinatra, Sonny and Cher, Elvis, the Monkees, and many more. And just uh, them working with them. And there's all the different people that they work with. Elvis, Dean Martin... Uh, the Carpenters, Phil Spector, Simon and Garfunkel, like everybody So from back then. So this looks like it's going to be awesome. If you're a music fan, this looks really good. I mean, how can you not want to check that out? That looks amazing to me. So I am souped on all these pickups. The t-shirt, again, from Ripped Apparel. Um, the toys right here from Diamond Select Toys. I love that. How awesome is that? And yeah, let me know what you think about the Ghostbusters new movie coming out with the female leads and what you think about that. And uh, the Munsters too, um, love that. I, I, I'm so torn. Like I'm gonna do an unboxing for it, I think, but I just love the packaging. I might just keep the packaging though. That is an awesome packaging right there. And again, like I said, I was never one of the people to keep the packaging. I always took them out and played with my toys. Um, and again, let me know if you've seen these movies and what you think of them as well. <laughs> and hope everybody's doing well. Take care.